This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. Today, we're slinging on yet another video review, this time taking a look at an application uh, that is uh, of an interesting ilk, we'll say. The application is called My.Agenda, and it's right there on my springboard, ready to go. It's available for a buck in the App Store. If you'd like to grab it, you can play along at home uh, for not too much money. I did not mean to hit that, so we're going to go back. This is of the productivity slash to-do slash agenda slash calendar uh, sort of um, variety, I guess, is a word that we'd use, um, which is something that we've had a lot of experience with over the years. We've used just about every productivity application that you can mention. Um, so we're pretty familiar with the actual uh, genre itself. And now that we've got this one, we don't think we're going to be using anything else. The application is awesome. It comes with a lot of different uh, functionalities to it and a lot of reasons to jump on the my.agenda back, uh, excuse me, bandwagon. With that in mind, uh, we're gonna go ahead and sort of jump into this and show you how it works. Essentially, this is the home screen. Uh, I'm currently looking at the My Calendar tab from the sidebar. You can see I've got all of my uh, important bits right there. If you want, you can go home to view all of your uh, available items in one go. Obviously, this is a fresh install and I've just sort of cleaned everything out so I can show you how it works. Um, so I don't have anything added. So let's go ahead and add something to my uh, home screen here. One of the quickest ways to do this is to go uh, to my recents. We can do that and I have a checklist that I've already got right here. If you want, you can click the little nav bar, uh, excuse me, pop out nav down here. You can hit this button to view all of your available items. So I've got tasks um, that are open. Um, sorry, tasks, appointment checklist. Uh, we want checklist. I'm gonna go find my test checklist. Here it is. Um, and uh, with this in mind, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how this works. I guess we can just add another test item while I'm here. So this is obviously just for a basic sort of to-do list. Um, if we want to add something, uh, we simply need to edit the actual list itself. Um, so there's my item, test it again, save, um, add. We're going to add another one and test it thrice is what I'm going to say. So save. Um, now that that's done, we can simply hit test it again to uh, sort of check off one of these items. You can delete with a slide delete, um, come sa, and then you can hit the button again to uh, edit at any point in time. It's very simple, very basic uh, to do management. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Now that we're here, uh, one of the things that we do want to do is add to hot lists. We're going to go click the little green arrow and then do that. Um, you can also associate this item with other items that are in your agenda. You can add to agenda if you would like. We're going to do that too. So now when we go back, we are going to see at the home screen that I have my to-do list, and it's also in my hot list. This would be uh, very important things if you needed them. Um, so that's there, which is quite nice. And again, if you want to view any of your open elements, you simply need to jump in here um, and uh, click the appropriate section. One thing that we can do, um, obviously you get all of the full functionality that you'd expect. You get reminders, appointments, that sort of thing. Um, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, let's just add an appointment. Um, actually, I take that back. Let's do this. From the uh, start menu here, you can hit the little plus sign to add any one of these. Um, you can add a device specific event, a device reminder, an appointment, uh, etc, etc. We're going to go ahead and add an appointment um, meeting. Tap to enter date. And that'll do. Hit save. Uh, if you want the full experience, you can hit the full and then you can enter um, additional information. You can add uh, different data points too if you'd like. So very, very customizable. All of that's right there. And of course, if you like to view this stuff at any point in time, uh, go in here, tap the appointment. Um, and we're going to go ahead and add this to our hot list too. So it's all right there. So all that's very functional, very easy to use. And of course, it takes minimal effort to uh, manage. Likewise, you have your calendar. This integrates directly with iCal, so it has everything that I've added to iCal um, as far as 2013 goes. It's all right here. All of these are device events. If you want to edit any of them, you can simply jump in. And there you go. I actually don't remember what textbook was, but uh, there you go. It's under the life calendar. You can change this at any point in time. There are my different calendars. Um, likewise, you can change repeats, alerts, that sort of thing. So very easy calendar management if you want that sort of thing. Um, and uh, aside from this, uh, you know, you've got a couple of different things. You've got near me, the app comes with uh, localized geotag locations. So if you set a specific location for some of your reminders or events, it will let you know via here. Very useful if you're out on the iPhone. Um, otherwise, you have your recent tab that will show you all of your different recents. 
Um, nice there, obviously, of course, everything about the app is rearrangeable at any point in time. If you would like, you can drag these little things. You can hit the information panels um, to filter things out. Um, even down here, you can hit this to rearrange items. So if I want to move my recents, I can just drag and drop if I want. Um, all of that's there. Uh, one interesting element of note is the topics pane. Um, this app is sort of like the light version of a larger app called Life Topics that comes preloaded with every single one of these. Essentially, these are preset agenda and to-do items that enable you to uh, basically take control of your life. Um, so with that in mind, um, also there are a couple different uh, functionality things like syncing that you can purchase in addition to the $1 that you'll spend on this. So essentially, if you wanted to deck the app out for shopping, you could do that. Health and activity, home assets, finances would be very um, sort of uh, you know important there. If you want to view any of these, you can simply hit the button, um, and then it will show you more information about this. So that's quite nice too. Basically, if you want to get into this, it is really cool stuff. It's been very lauded by reviewers, the whole Life Topics application. Then uh, this is a good way to get into it on the cheap. You only spend you know one or two bucks trying it out, and there you go. Um, aside from this, you've got the Engage panel, which is sort of like uh, the app's little um, social side, I guess. They give you news, and then you can also check out, um, you can share things too. It also comes with uh, backing up. You can back up to Dropbox, which is something that we enjoy a lot because we use Dropbox hella often. Um, aside from that, you can also back up by email, um, and of course, in-app purchases are all here. If you would like, you can also manage all of your different categories. You can fully customize the rest of it and you can change your color. I kind of like the blue, so we're gonna leave it there. Password lock is included too. So at the end of the day, uh, what do we think of the app? Well, obviously the design is pretty ace. It's one of the best looking agenda applications that we've seen in terms of design and we appreciate that a lot. Furthermore, the price is spot on at only a buck. Um, and of course, if you'd like to start small then you can build using the in-app purchases. We like that a lot too. So at the end of the day, we do actually think this is perhaps the best to-do slash uh, agenda slash calendar slash lifestyle application that we've seen in a long time on the iPhone and the iPad. All of this adds up to some incredible uh, bang for your buck, especially considering it's only a dollar. So with all of that in mind, we are going to give the app a solid five out of five star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. And that's all we have to say about it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but we will see you guys later. Bye.